Mike, I really liked our first lesson. So, what are we going to do today? We're in the restaurant. Maybe do some food stuff? Do some food, yeah. yeah? Some, some names for food. Okay, wait, let me remember from last time. Uh, okay. Very good, yes. Yeah. You can speak a little bit of Chinese now. Mm. Yeah. Listen, why don't we order something first? Yes. Where's the waitress? Let's get something. What are you going to have? I think I'll have a juice. Yeah, orange yeah. and pineapple juice. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Hello. Hi. Are you ready to order? Yes, please. Have a orange and pineapple juice, please. A fresh one, right? Yeah. Lovely. And uh, vodka for me, please. Okay. Thank you. Vodka now? Yeah, it helps me relax. My language just flows, you know? When it doesn't I help you learn, things. man. No, it does, definitely. I use it all for uni. Anyway, so, okay. what's some, uh, give me some food, some common dishes. The food, oh. Uh, fried rice. It's chow fan. Chow fan. And you can ask for some nice roast pork fried rice, which is cha shao rou chao fan. Cha shao zhou. Cha shao zhou zhou fan zhou. Yes. Cha shao zhou chao fan. Yes. Thank you. And here juice. Thank you. Um, what's the matter? Chao fan. Um, you can also do... Wo xiang Beijing kao ya. Beijing kao ya. Beijing kao ya. That's a lot for one person. Yeah. You can also try xiang shu ya. That's, that's Beijing kao ya, but with oh, yeah? the pancakes and the cucumber mm. and the, you know, the sauce, sauce yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. Excellent. Mm. It's nice. Wo hen er, wo hen er, hungry, er, er. Uh, uh, it's hungry. If you say wo hen er, ah, that that means you're very rubbish. Oh, <laughs> very it's mediocre. hard language, dude, and that's why I need the vodka. Here, cheers. Ganbei. There we go. Mm -hmm. You'll see now. It's going to be much better. Okay. You had enough to drink, man? I'm Charlema. No, man, I haven't eaten. Charlema. I've been drinking with you. Charlema. Trying to teach you uh, Chinese. Whilst you're <sighs> drinking all the vodka. Habuha. 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 Yes. Habuha. That means, is it good enough? Is it good? Mm. Yeah. Right there. How loud. Yes. Very nice. So, so, so. I'll get a so, so, so. salad, please. So. Richard, let's just focus on, focus on the Chinese, man. Western girls don't like Asian guys anyway, so... Michael, yeah? Listen. Asian guys don't approach Western women. That means it's your chance, buddy. She ain't used to it, alright? Get in there. Alright? She ain't used to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. <laughs> Come on. Cool, that's the right option. And, you know, for this level, I got some uh, great advice from JT Tran from uh, ABCs of Attraction. He's the top Asian dating coach. And he said that his clients normally have this problem where they don't really approach Western women at all. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. Persuaded me, man. I think I'm gonna go talk to her. But what do I say? Could you, could you give me some tips? Like... Listen, yeah? Look, these Western girls think that Asian guys are not sexual. That's why you always end up in the friend zone. And your friends, yeah? So you need to go in there, talk to her, and be sexual. <laughs> All right? Okay. 
Yeah, this is really interesting because apparently uh, Asian guys can get away with being more sexual because it's against the stereotype. So it was, you know, if a guy comes up and gives quite a direct compliment, um, you know, or, or even is talking about sex, he can get away with it a lot more if he's Asian. So they seem even more confident. Yeah, and you also need to be especially careful with the friend zone if you're Asian because, uh, you know, women might see or, you know, have experienced that Asian guys are normally not that sexual. Uh, so they might be ready to friend zone you, so being a bit more sexual is the way to go. All right, Rich. I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk to her. Thanks for the advice, man. <laughs> Hey, I was just sitting with my um, student and I had to come over and talk to you because your hair is so beautiful, you know, I, I found it really distracting. Oh, thank you. So whenever you approach a woman, it's like, what is your reason for doing it? And in this particular environment, you know, if you're in a shop, you might want to ask opinions or something. But in this particular environment, I think it's good to be direct and just say that you liked her and you wanted to meet her. Yeah, I think that's always good to start for any, any situation if you're going to be direct and compliment her. And you were saying earlier, Charlotte, that you also need the next line because a lot of guys kind of say that and then just stand yeah, there. Yeah, I think this is really important when a guy approaches and they compliment you and then that's it. There's, there's no second, they haven't thought about the next thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is really pet peeve of mine. So my name's Michael, what's your name? Uh, I'm Anna. To meet you. What yeah. are you doing sitting here by yourself? Um, I'm actually waiting for a friend. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you mind if I keep you company until she gets here? Um, I think she's going to be here in five minutes. But I'll leave the moment she comes. Yeah, just. Okay, sure. Yeah. <sighs> uh, so you said this guy's your student. What is it that you teach him? I'm teaching him Chinese. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I grew up in the UK, so my Chinese isn't perfect, but because I'm a friend of a friend, you know, he got me to teach him, so. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic, that's really cool. So how do you know Chinese if you grew up in the UK? Oh, my parents are from China. Oh, you know, nice. I was born in the UK and you know, I grew up speaking it. And actually when I was a kid, my Chinese was better than my English. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then, that's your first language? Yeah. 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 Oh, nice. And so both your parents are Chinese? Yes, yes. Okay. And have you been to China? Yes. Went quite a lot when I was young. So, mm -hmm. have you? No. Oh. No, never. Yeah. Uh, but I'd like to. Yeah, you should if you haven't. Hmm. That's the right answer. You know, in this case, you could have joked or whatever, but it's actually pretty cool to say you teach Chinese, so why not? Yeah, absolutely. You don't meet people who teach Chinese all the time, so I think it's a great thing. It's also a conversation starter. Do you speak some Chinese? Ni hao. Oh, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I organise events, so um, mainly music events, where I scout out bands and solo artists and then put it all together. Um, that's, yeah, that's what I do. I really enjoy it and I want to do weddings in the end. So, I mean, it sounds like you have quite a creative side, you know, if you're involved with music, you know, even if it's just as an organiser, I mean, that must interest you. Yeah, exactly. I love, I, I have a massive creative side, so I kind of like do it, I like doing everything. And it's really nice putting people together and kind of mm -hmm. starting, a, you know, a party and things. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you like events? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. music events, yeah. yeah. I mean, Chinese sounds really cool. Um, could you teach me something in Chinese? Um. Let's try having you say... Wasi Huandi. Wasi Huandi. Wasi Huan. Huan. 
你，你，我喜欢你，我喜欢你。Very good. That means I like you. Ah,、uh, so, I like you. Yeah, I like it. I like what's it. It's a nice sound. Yes, it's a tonal language, so you've got to make sure you get the tones right. Otherwise, oh,、uh, okay, you might be saying something else. Oh, you know? really? Okay. What's it, Wendy? So I think any time you know you speak another language, people、uh, often say, "Oh, say something," or "Teach me to say something." And you could just say something boring, but in this case, you've said, "I I like you," and you've gotten her to say it. So it's a little bit of flirting. There's a little joke there, isn't there? There's something funny at the end of it. So I've been teaching you some Chinese. Why don't you teach me something? Do you speak any other languages? No, I don't. No. No, it's really bad. You've never studied another language. When I was in school, I did a little bit of French, but、oh, okay. it's really、mm. bad. I'm not going to do any to you.、Mm. Like, it's offensive. <laughs> okay. But you must. So, do you speak other languages? Ah,、uh, I speak a bit of Russian. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, do you want to say anything in Russian? Uh, yeah, I'll do blue for you, Mama. It's cool. Oh, nice. And do you speak any other languages? Bit of Italian.、Mm. Ooh, say something in Italian. Barfan culo.、Uh, and so, Russian, Italian, Chinese, and English. Yes. Four. That's amazing. That's amazing. So do you travel much? Um, not really. I I want to travel more.、Mm-hmm. Um, I my favorite place that I've been is Israel. Israel. Yeah. Oh wow. Which was amazing. It was beautiful.、Okay. Um, what about you? Do you travel? Um, yes, I travel quite a bit. I've been to Italy, Russia, China, lots of times.、Uh, I went to the States once when I was really young. Um. Oh, whereabouts? In where the States.、Uh, Florida. Boston, Washington, New York. Oh, cool!、Mm. So you kind of saw a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, but、yeah. it's probably changed a ton by now. Yeah, yeah I've been to New York as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, New、really、York.、Like、I love、it. New York. Yeah, it's lovely. The restaurants are so affordable. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's very busy.、Um, I don't know. What's what's the fav- your favorite place that you've been? My favorite place, probably Nova Scotia. The McDonald's there, they do lobster burgers because it's you know it's like a little island. Oh my god! And, you know, lobsters everywhere. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> nice. Wow.、Mm. So, yes, I remember those lobster burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you've travelled a lot, travel is a good subject, and if you haven't travelled a lot. Travel is a good subject because、uh, most people like talking about travel. I think what was it you said to yesterday about travel? No、What? one ever regrets. Oh yeah, no one ever regrets travel. You may regret a lot of things in life. You might regret the big burger you just ate or the shoes, but you never regret travel. And also, I think if you even if you haven't travelled, saying where you would like to go is still on the subject. Yeah, it's a cool subject. So the、uh, friend that's coming, it, is it a girl? Or ah、uh, yeah, a girl. Yeah. Good. Just a friend. So, have you ever dated an Asian guy before?、Uh, I haven't actually. Hmm. Well, that's not very surprising, to be honest. Like a lot of the Asian guys I know, they find Western girls to be quite sloppy. Oh, it's sloppy.、Mm, like, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like some of my friends don't take off their makeup before bed,、mm, which is quite sloppy. But I'm not like that. I'm quite. That's good.、Um, that's good. You know, like I'm very clean, and I, you know、Great. I don't go out too much. I'm、mm. quite a little bit more feminine. You know. Good. Yeah. Because、yeah. I mean, you know how they say that、um, Asian women. They they age slower. I don't think that's true. I think they just take better care of themselves. But you、oh, know,、really? you, you don't have that problem, obviously. <laughs> so. Well, thanks. 
This is a little bit of drama here. I don't know if you'd like this one, but Go it's on. it's saying that you know the Asian women are more feminine and reserved, which is kind of true. Mm -hmm. And so it's putting uh, a little challenge out there to seeing how how you deal with it. Fair enough. He can challenge her. Mm -hmm. So what kind of uh, things are you into? Uh, I'm into cooking. Um, I make really good chicken okay. pie. Um, oh. I also really like philosophy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's quite a coincidence because I'm really into Buddhism. Now, oh, really? I started, yeah, yeah. I started um, meditation like about a year oh. ago. You know, oh. I find it really helpful because, you know, sometimes you... Um, Life is very busy and you get all these thoughts in your head and um, I like to do meditation as a way to just clear my head, you know, and to get yeah. back back in touch with myself and, you know, what I want, where I'm going, that kind of thing. So does that Yeah, yeah, I do you? meditation yeah. as well. I love meditation. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's really oh. good just to clear the mind and mm -hmm. spend a little bit of time without any thoughts. Yeah. Totally straightens me out, you know, and yeah. it's, you know, just focusing on your breathing, it's like good for you, it's healthy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Mm. So I think, yeah, if, if you've got uh, Buddhism to talk about that, if you're an Indian guy talking about yoga and stuff, you know, if you talk about the things that are, you know, the highlights or the strong points of your culture or country, then um, it's an interesting conversation point. Yeah. Especially for women who are more likely to be into yoga and spirituality. Yeah, definitely. I think it's the same for both, though. And it shows that you are taking an interest in your own culture and seeing how much she might know how well-traveled or how interested she is in your culture. It's important. Cool. Yeah, so I can do um, a party trick with a napkin. Okay, let's yeah. see this. <laughs> so I can make, like, bunny ears. Um, oh. And what else can I make? Hey. Hi, hi, hi Mary. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Okay. Um, this is Michael. Yeah. This is Mary, Me my Me friend. Okay. I was just showing Michael my trick. Yeah. <laughs> 你叫什么名字? 我说 Richard, I don't understand 很高兴见到你 No, 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 I don't understand you Dude, 你不明白吗? She doesn't even look Chinese She doesn't get you 好好,没问题,没问题 He's so weird Really weird Sorry. Is that your friend? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a bit drunk, look, he's had five vodkas so. Oh, first time maybe <laughs> Yeah, I think so <laughs> well done, it's the right option. Obviously he needs some help because, you know, her friends come and likely they want to catch up and talk and this is a point where you can easily get sent away. So you need your wingman. Yeah, you don't want to get sidelined in this situation. So that's an interesting trick with the napkin. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Um, She's yeah. good in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a good at tricks, party tricks. Oh God. He's so cute. <laughs> 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 bye bye. bye. <laughs> I guess you catch up with her later. Yeah, I guess I won't see her for a while. <laughs> yes, my friend likes to dance and sing when he's drunk. Does he? Does he? I bet he's embarrassed you a lot. <laughs> yes. Can you dance? Mm, not really. Maybe you want to have had a bit to drink. Yeah, but. I'm sure you can. Yeah, I, I can dance. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoy it. So, you know, I'm really glad I came over to talk to you. You... <laughs> You're a really nice... Uh... Yeah, I'm really glad you came over and had the confidence to chat. It's really nice. Maybe, um, maybe we could be friends, actually. That would be nice.
Yeah, I'm not really interested in being friends. I've kind of got enough already. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking for a bit more, a bit more than friendship. This is great because it's being slightly sexual and flirty, not too much, uh, but it's also kind of showing why you're there again, that you're there not because you wanted to make an extra friend. Yeah, and you're confident and you're stating what you want in the situation, so this is a good thing. So what is it that you do anyway? Well, when I'm not teaching Chinese, I work as a scientist. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of science? Uh, chaos theory like in the context of biology so it's a bit of a it's a combination of maths and biology mm -hmm. well that doesn't sound that interesting do you find it interesting it sounds boring no 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 no, no. let me prove to you um, how it's interesting give me a hand mm -hmm. so imagine i had a drop of water on my finger and i put it on your knuckle right which way do you think it will roll you know if i put it right on the top there um, we we'll go down here. So the first time we do it, maybe it'll go down here. The second time, maybe it'll go that way. Maybe it'll go back. It's hard to say, isn't it? Because there's, there's too much chaos here. Why? Because the way the droplet falls depends on the orientation of the hairs on your hand. And also the little, the little imperfections in your skin. And uh, <laughs> overall, you know, there's a lot of information. It's very complicated. So, you know, it's... Um, it's okay. chaos. Okay. And this is biology. Ah, nice. So that's basically what you learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's everyone's hands, not just mine. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> not, not everyone's got perfect hands. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Well, you learn something new every day. Indeed you do. <laughs> that's, can I have my hand back? Then? Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> it's your hand. You have it back. So that's the right option. It's modelled on the Jeff Goldblum scene in Jurassic Park. Um, and it's basically proving that point again, where it doesn't matter what you talk about, as long as you do it with passion, that passion is an emotion, it's contagious and it's attractive. I totally agree. I honestly think you could be talking about anything, rubbish, bin liners, for all I care. As long as you're passionate about it, it's super contagious and very attractive. Passionate about bin Laden? No, bin liners. Ah, bin liners. Bin liners. Cool. Or bin Laden? No. Not. No. Nah. So other than salad, what kind of food are you into? Um, I'm into like, lots of different food. Um, I love chicken Kievs. Oh, great. Yeah, yes, chicken me Kievs. too. Mm. Really good. Um, what else? I love brownies. Anything sweet. Brownies. Yeah. Yes, cake. <laughs> yeah. Do Anything you like sweet. brownies? Yes, I love brownies. Mm. Oh, can you bake? No. Okay. I'd love to know how to bake, or mm. maybe to meet someone who knows how to bake. Yeah, <laughs> and so what kind of food do you like? Me? I'm actually really into sushi at the moment, you know. Oh, Can't nice. get enough raw fish. I, I love, love sushi, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I love fish as well, yeah. Yes, fish. Yeah, it's good. Swordfish is probably one of the nicest oh, fish I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had swordfish. It's delicious. It's, it's so it like? oily and, like, tender. It's, oh, ooh. nice. It's, I always thought it would be, like, tough and chewy it's it's chewy but in a good way like it's, it's chunky okay but it's, but it's not um it's not tough at all oh you know, is it it's, not it's, oh, it's nice. really like flavorsome you know. oh delicious it comes in like steaks because you know how big swordfish are you know yeah massive yeah. okay oh yeah. so you'll have like a steak of it on yes your... yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. it's good stuff you should try sometime yeah So as a um, single girl, do you prefer to meet people online or do you prefer to meet them in real life? Uh, wait, how did you know that I was single? Well, there were two things that you did earlier that kind of gave it away. What were they? I think I'll keep that to myself for now. I might tell you later. Aww. Nice one. Uh, that's the right option. And look how cool that is. You can use that anywhere. That's the line from uh, our friend Pete. And yeah, it works really, really well, especially with that extra bit of curiosity at the end where she wants to know how you know. So I've had a really great time meeting you and getting to know you, but I'm a bit worried about your friend because my friend Richard, you know, he's a, he's a bit crazy. So I think I'm going to go save her, let you guys, you know, have a catch up and then um, 
I'll be off, but you know, I think we should see each other again. So you said you were really into chicken Kiev, so why don't we have that for dinner one night? Mm. Ah, so it stops her inviting her friends? Yeah, and I think it shows social intelligence because it's like, look, you're here with your friend tonight, so it's not the ideal situation. So we can meet just one-on-one -on -one another time and, you know, it'll be better. Great. Yeah, I would love that. I'd love to, you know, see you again. Do you want to put your number in my phone? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Nice one, brilliant. You got the very best possible ending in this level. Congratulations, you've got the best outcome possible.